It's early in the morning and I'm out here working on my big project over here and it started raining. Oh, I got such a good start too. Hopefully this will stop soon. But in the meantime, I think I'll just talk to a camera and sit under this boat roof here. So my latest situation is I need about $3,000 worth of wood cut. And that's like the cheapest price I can get. That's with the guy who doesn't really cut straight boards. To get straight boards, it's going to cost more like four or $5,000. Uh, so let me just fast forward. I think instead of doing any of that, I'm just going to buy a chainsaw. Not like a little chainsaw I've had before that's like, Wee! no, I mean like, like a thousand dollar chainsaw. And I'm, I'm looking at a Husqvarna 572 right now. And I think, I think I'm going to get one of those. I can get it for a little under a thousand dollars. I'm going to get the 28 inch bar so I can make nice long cuts and I should be able to cut pretty decent boards with that. Now, ultimately I do want to set up a nice lumber mill, uh, where I can cut boards with electricity from, from the sun and everything. However, even then I'm going to have to cut logs down to sizes that I'll be able to transport to my lumber mill. So the chainsaw will be even useful then. Either way, it's going to be a lot less expensive to buy a chainsaw and cut all this wood myself than to, you know, spend three or four thousand dollars, which is kind of a lot of money for me. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And then I was thinking, all right, I want to cut really good boards for this thing I'm making. So I'm going to make a, well, I'm either going to make or buy an Alaskan lumber mill. And I was eyeballing my, you know, junk pile this morning. And just with a real quick look, I, I think I have the parts to make a decent Alaskan lumber mill. And then I should probably also make some safety equipment. I have some ear things that will protect my ears. I should probably wear a mask because if I'm going to be cutting like, you know, six or eight hours a day for a while, that's going to be a lot of fumes. I probably want to wear a mask for that. And I'm thinking I'll use my full face mask because, you know, it keeps the sobbits from flying in my face. Now, the other major piece of safety equipment chainsaw users often use is leg protection things. Chaps that are like, and I've never actually used these. I've used them like once or twice before. Generally, I don't use them. But if I'm going to be chainsawing a lot, a lot, I might want to get some kind of leg protection. And I was thinking, I can make those. Because basically the way these, these pants things work is they're not impervious to the chainsaw but they, they have all these fiberglass fibers or something like that in them that gum up the chainsaw. So as soon as they hit your, your leg, it just stops the chainsaw because the chainsaw gets gummed up with all these fibers and stuff. Uh, so I was like, I, I could make that. Just make some pants with double layers and sew a whole bunch of fiberglass in there. I'd have to do a bit of research and make sure fiberglass will actually do. But then I was like, wait a minute, that is gonna be so hot. I'm living in the tropics. I'm not in a cold place. That's gonna be too hot. What if I just make myself, like, stainless steel leg armor? And that way, it's not going to stop the chainsaw, but if the chainsaw, like, bounced off my leg, and it's covered in this, this you know, a decent thickness of stainless steel, it's not going to, it's not going to cut through that instantly. I'm going to have a second, I'm going to have a few seconds to realize, oh, wow, I'm chopping through my leg before it actually gets to flesh. So, I might do that. I don't know, I got to think about all this stuff. Anyway. I think the first thing will be just, just get the chainsaw. And then when that's ordered, it'll take like a month or so to get here. I'm gonna have to pay like import tax, but whatever. And while that's coming, I'll, I'll try to make in the, a lumber mill. I, that's not that hard to make. I should be able to make a decent one with the stuff I have here, I think. And then, you know, collect my whatever other equipment I need in the meantime. Oh, and I lost one of my boots in the ocean the other day. Well, like three weeks ago now. So that was my only pair of boots. Uh, it did already have a hole in it anyway. So I bought four new pairs of boots. All like discount, like cheap boots. So that's why I got four. Because I don't know. I'm hoping one, at least one pair is good. So we'll see. 
because the you know the last pair I got was like ninety dollar pair of boots, and they last a little while, but they got holes in them, and you know. So then I was like, maybe maybe I just need to try getting like several pairs of cheap boots and from from different companies and just see see if there's anything in there that's good. So hopefully one of those is good. Because I can't really go traipsing around in the jungle in my sandals. I well, could, but it's not that safe. Okay, so that's what's going on with me right now. Well, right now I'm just sitting here waiting for the rain to stop. Oh, rain, you seriously need to stop. I can't get anything done in the rain. At least not what I'm working on right now. Oh, seriously, man. Oh, did I mention the weather report said full sun today? Uh.